What up, world? It's your boy, Siwata Phoenix. <laughs> it's not been a minute since I did a video. Uh, everything's been crazy lately. Schedule's been kind of tight, but I'm going to try to get a quick one in real quick. And uh, the title of this video was called Win, Loss. There's no winning without losing. You know what I'm saying? And the reason why I want to bring this up is because um, a lot of times we get focused on the winning. We never focus on the losing. So when it happens, it throws our life in a completely different direction, a downward, a downward spiral that we would never expect will happen. Now, what happens when you plan for the, the, the loss side of it? When it does happen, you can continue to keep winning. Um, if you look at any, any sports team, every team in every season virtually takes at least one loss. Uh, some teams may even go to be undefeated certain certain times and and then when they come back they experience their loss you know what i'm saying even the chicago bulls who had probably one of the best seasons in the nba they still had a certain number of losses golden state warriors they were undefeated this this season they were balling out of control but they eventually got that one loss were they prepared for it i guess they were because it was a lot of close calls but did it hit them? How did it affect them? As you can see, they continue to keep rolling. They took the loss, keep rolling. That's what happens when you prepare for the losses. You can take it and keep going. You look at football, the running backs, I think they're, and the wide receivers, I think besides the guys in the, the line, the ball carriers, I think, and the quarterback, they always prepare for the hits. You can tell the quarterback who is not prepared for the hits because when they're coming, they start running and they look kind of like funny, you know what I'm saying? They still try to get the ball off and a lot of times it still ends up as an incomplete pass. But quarterbacks that prepare for the hit, they can still get the ball off, you know what I'm saying? Without running at all, they just stand there and fire it and they, once it's boom, then they take the hit. You can tell they're prepared for it. You look at basketball, they going for a dunk, you know what I mean? A person that's jumping, a lot of times they don't be prepared for the hit, otherwise, you know what I mean? They either get the block or they either draw the fall, uh, draw the foul. In life, we get focused on the wins so, so much that we don't focus on the losses. So when eventually they happen, it throws your life completely off guard. Prepare for those losses. If you're working at a job, start preparing for the retirement the moment you get into it. Or don't get caught up in the job so much that you think that they'll never fire you or they'll never give you a pink slip. Don't put nothing past them. You know what I mean? Start looking for other jobs. Keep your eye on the job market. You know what I'm saying? Or have just two or three. You know what I mean? That's why I have three part-time jobs. One of them gives me a lot of hours. One of them pays me more than the rest. And then another one I can just build off of. Case in point, if I lose any one of them, I'll still be able to survive. Stay two steps ahead. It'll keep you from falling two steps back. So... I just wanted to drop that video real quick. Hope it made sense. If you take away something from it, amen. If you don't, hey, I'm sorry and I apologize, but you get no refund because there's no charge. <laughs> but anyway, it's your boy, Siwata Phoenix. Um, Blogtalkradio.com forward slash Siwata Phoenix. Links in the description. Support and uh, y'all be blessed. Stay, uh, stay safe. <laughs> Peace.